Sunday, July 8 was the third and last day of the World Championship of Rapid Chess in Astana, Kazakhstan. With five more rounds to go, Magnus Carlsen of Norway was defending a 1.5 point lead over Veselin Topalov of Bulgaria and Sergei Kayakin of Russia. The start was easy for the world's number one, as he faced tail-ender Anwar Ismagambetov of Kazakhstan. Sergei Kayakin had a tougher opponent, the unpredictable Vasily Ivanchuk, his former compatriot, before Kayakin moved to Moscow. Topalov started with a draw against Boris Galvant. Everything was still going according to plan for Magnus Carlsen, who indeed won easily against the local hero. The Norwegian then took a glimpse at the board of one of his rivals, Kayakin. From this moment, the final day of rapid chess would follow the text on Alexander Krishuk's t-shirt. In a position he could never lose, Ivanchuk forgot about his clock and lost on time. It was an important point for Karyakin, who kept the pace with Carlsen. Poor Ivanchuk couldn't believe what had happened. But, as if he was still angry with himself and probably full of adrenaline, Ivanchuk then inflicted the very first loss upon Carlsen. Just look at Chucky's reaction when he's certain that he's winning. Meanwhile, Karyakin played a very strong game with Black against Temur Rajabov and won, to decrease the distance with Carlsen to just half a point. Grishuk's t-shirt mentioned curious incidents and Tkachev Topalov was one of them. The Bulgarian had been two points up in a night ending but still managed to lose. The standings were shaken up completely when Carlsen suffered his second loss against Alexander Grishuk. It took a while before the Norwegian realized what had happened. In just two rounds, Carlsen's firm lead had evaporated. In the penultimate round, Karyakin, who was now leading by half a point, won yet again against Peter Schwiedler. Carlsen, on the other hand, couldn't break Rajabov's defense. This meant that Karyakin only needed a draw in the last round against Igor Kurnosov to win the first official Rabbit World Championship. This game remained about equal all the time, while Carlsen actually got into trouble against Topalov. At some point Kurnosov started to repeat moves and obviously there was no reason for Karyakin to avoid this. The players shook hands and Karyakin, having won the championship, shook a few more hands. In a crazy game where Topalov actually missed the fourth win, Carlsen escaped with a draw. This way the Norwegian finished second and Topalov third. I played very well, basically. Uh, the only thing that yesterday I, 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 I had lost two games in a row at the, at the end. Uh, it was very unpleasant, but 
okay, my, I, I think my game against Magnus, although I could make a draw, I mean, it was very fighting game, and okay, I mean, it happens. Uh, but, but I managed to recover, and today, after I scored four out of four, Magnus played quite badly, and at the end it was enough for me just to make a draw, and not without uh, difficulties, but I managed to make this draw and to win the tournament. Well, I was trying to concentrate on my own game. Okay, of course I was looking a little bit, but, but not very much actually. And okay, after I saw that Magnus lost against Ivanchuk, then I, uh, I thought, okay, this is my chance. And then he lost against against Grishuk and I was already leading and oh, okay. And somehow it went very, very good for me. My opponents played badly and okay, maybe I, also I was very lucky against Ivanchuk because he forced on time in a, a slightly better position for him. But okay, I mean, it happens and Without such victories, it's impossible to win the tournament. When you missed your flight, did you still have hopes to win this tournament? Well, I didn't think about it. I, I, I was thinking, thinking only about how, 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 how to get here. <laughs>